Hi, I'm Paketa12 and today we play with this uh, dummy labyrinth and uh, the idea came as an accident while I was working on a much advanced uh, approach and uh, let me show you what I was uh, thinking if uh, we have uh, um, a bunch of boxes like this uh, in a grid and uh, some of them uh, takes uh, 90 degrees rotation we might end up with a labyrinth, I thought. So let's recreate that. Okay. And uh, we start with a constant chop where we set the um, grid and uh, the resolution. And uh, yeah, let's go with uh, 16 for the grid and uh, 1280 for the resolution. And we need a grid, so let's build a, a UV. So this RAM takes uh, the grid. Okay, it's uh, nearest pixels and 32 mono. We need a reorder. And a flip with bottom left. We take the second input for the green. We set this texture to 32 RG and uh, let's have both of them nearest pixels. Okay, now we have the UV and uh, if we see the points, we have this uh, uh, grid. Okay, now let's uh, have a null here. We make this uh, pink and uh, yeah, let's use a box sop and uh, we have the grid in XY plane. So let's have this uh, size X one divided by three, one divided by three. Okay. And uh, we go with geometry instancing we grab this null one uh, r and g and uh, yeah we don't have uh, let's have a better view now all the pieces are way too big and uh, we need to transform this and i go with one divided by the grid okay now, those pieces, if they have uh, uh, some different rotations, uh, we get closer, okay? And um, let's have a noise for this. Let's have a noise top. We go with a uh, uh, grid for the resolution. Okay. Let's have this also pink and uh, yeah, let's use this for rotation on uh, Z axis. Okay, very, very small changing. Let me increase this way much. So uh, yeah, now we have uh, noisy values and uh, we need something uh, um, more like 90 degrees angles. Okay, how we do this so let's 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 see how how many possibilities there are uh, the the zero angle okay the 90 degrees 180 and 270 would be four cases possible cases so let's have here a level and the values in this noise are uh, slightly in between zero one and sometimes above and so uh, yeah, those values uh, um, have to be converted in in right in, in in proper angles also. So let's have this clamp off for now. Okay. And in step, we go with one divided by how many uh, cases we we need. And here we use a mat okay 
and we rearrange 0, 1 to 0, 270. Okay, and now we got some, some right angles, but uh, this is uh, not quite a labyrinth. Okay, and this is because we need to start with a, a specific uh, angle. Uh, so we need a, a mat here. And we pre-add or post-add uh, 45. And now we we good. And uh, there are some some center um, gaps uh, missing. And so let's use the same uh, geometry. But uh, here for the box we also uh, use 1 divided by 3 for the size on Y, okay? And let's have uh, a color for those. Like this. And, yeah, we'll make them a little bit uh, longer on Z axis to, to be much more visible, okay? Now, there are the, the, the missing centers, okay? And uh, to arrange those uh, little squares, okay, we need uh, a mat here, and we offset. So we use post add. We offset with one divided by, let's see, the, the grid. Let's use another null. We make this pink and use this one instead. Oh, sorry. Okay, now what we need to do is use minus, okay, we go in this, uh, in the opposite uh, side, but we divide again with two, and now we are good. Let's uh, delete this color and uh, have the same size. Okay, now if you want to get rid of uh, those uh, little gaps, you can easily um, increase the scale on, on uh, Y here. So let me show you, okay. Okay. Actually, le let's, let's, uh, let's do that. I will zoom a little bit. So. Yeah, you can you can find uh, the precise uh, value, but uh, we go we go with this, okay? And now, how can we have them uh, move? Let's let's move this noise. So, abs time dot seconds divided by thirty two, okay? And Let's play with this uh, noise, maybe exponent 2. Yeah, we, we, can't, we can't do uh, too much here in this noise. As, as uh, we, we don't have that nice uh, and smooth uh, rotation. And we have for, for in each frame some, some uh, changings, but the, uh, yeah, how can we do that uh, um, nice motion, okay? And uh, let me show you the accident uh, that I find, right? Now, if we go in, in this level and clamp everything in between zero, one, okay? You, 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 saw, you saw a couple of them maybe uh, moving, but very fast. And now let's go here in this noise and increase the in exponent to 2, 
okay now you see some of some of them are, are, are moving uh, very nice and um, I'm not I'm not precisely sure why is this and uh, but I'm glad I'm glad of this uh, um, accident as I said okay now my question is how can we um, give those uh, some some proper colors okay now let me make sure everything it's nearest pixels okay and yes this okay so yeah some some centers uh, they are moving some little centers and we don't want that and so here in this uh, for, for the centers we don't use any rotation instead we we make one here with uh, another transform maybe and we go uh, 45 here and now they are uh, still they don't move so uh, we are we are good and yeah um, as you change this um, you get different uh, results but it's quite difficult to to notice uh, if we don't uh, color code this okay but um, we actually don't know which of them so where we have the pixels where the the slow motion happened okay and how can we find this now as we notice in level some two differences okay the one in the case for clamp like here and the one with no clamp what if we make a difference between those two cases okay so let me make sure we, i don't have a, a clamp here okay now let's use subtract okay okay now we use subtract not difference and uh, some of the values might be uh, minus and so black and we can't see them and uh, i want to mark uh, everything that that uh, has uh, a value for the difference okay now for this i go with mat so oh okay and i force everything positive like this and now i use uh, another mat uh, you you can you can use uh, less operators but um, yeah is is not the is not my main concern while doing tutorials like this so uh, it's sometimes it's much easier to to understand if you have each uh, process uh, separate and then uh, after a while uh, or uh, you can you can go into optimizations okay but uh, yeah we can play like like this uh, okay and um, here i want to use um, ceiling so i believe we have a uh, motion where we have these white um, pixels and let's let's see that uh, i would like to use um, level let's go with level let's see maybe okay okay now yep 
yeah let's set up the a red background okay and yeah let's use this for the color good uh, let's let's have a, a color also for for um, for the centers okay for the the uh, squares and uh, i can go with a uh, uh, constant here and set the same red okay let's have a null and here we use this color You can try uh, with a, a constant or, or fong or something, but uh, yeah, I found much easier to, to match the two reds. Um, okay, now it's it's good, but there are some some dummy blocks that are not moving, uh, and still they are white, and so that means uh, we do have a difference. Uh, between those two cases where we clamp or not clamp but uh, there's no there's no motion actually okay and uh, w how can we get rid of those simply if we go here with the limit and take out the um, the values outside zero one so we go with the zigzag zero one and now only the parts that are moving with some speed they are white okay so um, and if you increase the exponent uh, there are there are uh, um, moving slower or uh, yeah you can uh, experiment with uh, with this you know and uh, and you can go actually super high in resolution okay so you have uh, something like this and so if uh, we can have uh, such a big plane of uh, content yeah maybe it would be nice to to have a render maybe so let's have a, a render here let's have a camera and we use the resolution for the render let's use this here so top and uh, yeah first let's let's put a light so light and we can go inside and position uh, the light uh, from the point where we we see the the scene okay so but this would be much more interesting if we have some differences okay so first we set the camera like this okay so we we feel the the, oh, the entire screen okay and now now we try to move the light so and maybe uh, another light would be good. Sorry. Okay. So yeah, you can you can uh, play with this uh, a lot and um, yeah, experiment more with uh, with this uh, 
a strange uh, accident. So this was my tutorial. I really hope you like this. Hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, or you can support me on Patreon and you'll get access to a bunch of other tutorials and uh, you'll help me go on with this uh, research. Thank you so much. A huge thanks to all my patrons. See you in the next one.